Hey guys, Jedi Rich here, uh, Naked Jedi. Today is Friday, April 3rd. This is, it's 0300 hours and 11 minutes. Yeah, we do our stuff late night here at JediRich.com for a number of reasons. One, that's just kind of how we, we operate. We work at night, I think, I think a lot better at night. Now, while we're having this meeting real quick right now, is that this is Friday in Vegas and it's shut down. And everyone is just sitting around like, hey, everything's fine. You know, May 1st, we're going to have this big party. You know, I'm watching Las Vegas locally tweet all these people. Like, they, they, she's, she's convinced everyone that, hey, we need to be shut down for 45 days, is what's going to come out to be. 45 days, and then on May 1st, you know, we're going to rah, 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 and we're going to open up, and this place is going to be booming again. No, it's not, because you've shut it down. Everything's changing. Everything is changing. So what sort of things are going to be impacted? There's going to be a domino effect, first of all. There's going to be a domino effect. What that means is that all the workers that are leaving aren't going to be paying taxes on the goods that they buy because they won't be here. And all the workers that can't pay their, pay their bills or get evicted and move somewhere, that's what I mean, move somewhere else, those apartment complexes can't pay their bills. Right? That's why they've extended the mortgages. But that's not a free mortgage. They're going to have to pay, try to pay those back in 90 days. And in 90 days, that puts us dead smack in the middle of summer, which is dead season in Vegas anyways. If we were, if we were booming, it would be dead. I can only imagine what July is going to look like for 2020. Everything's been canceled. There's nothing on the books. <laughs> it brings up another point. For those of us who have been in, who have purchased tickets to events for 2020 in Las Vegas, we are unable to get refunds. There's a variety of reasons why they're giving the the, the, the reasons. They're like, well, uh, the, the I don't even know. I mean, we Orleans. I'm, I'm I'm kind of baffled because I contacted the Orleans on Twitter, and they said no problem. If you can't make the new date of the they scheduled it sometime in uh, in August or something, September is supposed to be in April. And we're like, well, we don't want it. We need the money now. So give us our money back. And they're like, oh no, no refunds until we reschedule. So we rescheduled. They finally rescheduled, and now we called them and they said no, no refunds either. And the reason why. First of all, that's illegal. Because they canceled and rescheduled. You have to give the person, what if we can't make it? That wasn't the deal. The contract was April 25th. They breached. Therefore, they have to give it back our money. The reason why people aren't giving back their money is because basically Vegas is funded by Wall Street. All the casinos are funded by Wall Street. And what that means, is speculative money. So... They they give money to, to they give they loan money to the casinos in the form of however you know the, selling their shares right and then they're supposed to take that money and turn it into more money. Now what happened was it didn't do that. So now what happens where we're at is where is the money? Who has the money for? We gave so not only were they were they financing their operations on the money coming from Wall Street, they were also financing their operations on money coming from ticket sales. So, in other words, it was like a Ponzi scheme. So, if I if if you sold me if I sold you tickets to a show in April, I'm going to use the money you gave me to pay for the guys now that need to get paid today. I'll worry about where I'm going to get the money for April in April. When April comes around, I got to pay Ice Cube and those guys. I'm going to be selling other tickets for another show in 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 August, right? Okay, we've all played that game ourselves with, with, with like checking accounts over the weekend. But this is at a higher level. This is with consumers. So we have all these shows. These people plan tickets for well in advance, have sold all these tickets. But you can't get the refunds because a lot of the venues don't have the money because there's no other money coming in. The casinos are losing $14.5 million a day by being closed. That doesn't count the refunds that they have to come out. Now, the casinos have endless cash. They just call Wall Street, and they get more money in, in case because Wall Street don't want to get sued. So they, they follow the rules. But what about everybody else that doesn't have deep pockets like that to cover those losses? Now, there's another issue which brings up Al Giant Stadium. 
That is still on operation. Now, what I'm hearing is is that the workers are very, very scared there because uh, two weeks ago, a guy tested positive. And I'm hearing that more and more people are testing positive, but they're not really telling people. So all the workers are kind of like, shit, man, I'm on a site that's totally infected. And I don't know who's got it. And, and you know, we're just trying to be safe, safe here. But why is that project so important to keep going? When everybody else is shut down, I mean, we, we, we annihilated the Vegas economy because of this virus. It was that deadly. But why is our giant still going when it's really not that crucial to our economy? We don't even have a football team. We've never had one. So it's kind of like, well, if we don't get 2020, why not post it? You know, why is it so important? Because Steve Sisolak is the one who brought the Raiders and Al Giant and put those deals together. And I'm guessing a lot of his campaign money came from Al Giant because that, those are all the guys profiting right now. So that's why that project has been allowed to keep going. When I say allowed, well, allowed for the, for the owners of the place because they can make money. But the, work, but the workers are risking their lives every day because they're out there in a, with a respiratory virus. And for those of you who haven't been in Vegas at elevation, it's tough to breathe. And you're on these things. I mean, it's tough. I mean, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine having an asthma attack uh, uh, on one of those scaffoldings. I mean, that would be terrible. Point is this. That project is still running because Steve Sisolak feels that it's imperative for the for for our state to have that stadium. <coughs> now, the other issue is this. Let's play it out. Let's say we decided, like, shit, we have to shut it down for a few days, and we're going to have to delay the opening of the stadium until 2021. So therefore, if you bought season tickets, you're entitled to a refund and you can buy your tickets for wherever they'll be playing or we'll transfer that money however. That would normally be how it goes down. But you see, in Vegas, it's all speculative, as we mentioned, including the stadium. The stadium was banking on the fact that they would sell tickets to finance the, the construction. Now, they made those goals. Not a problem. Because in Vegas, we have a ton of what are called scalpers. (laughs) 60% of the tickets sold were purchased in Vegas. There aren't very many Oakland Raider fans in Vegas not willing to spend 75 grand on a pair of NFL tickets. If you ask around, most people in Vegas don't really care about the NFL. I mean, they like sports betting and blah, 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 but to go out and buy the tickets, the people I talked to who bought the tickets were planning on reselling them. And that's kind of how it goes down. You live in Vegas, it's like if a big show comes, everybody rushes to buy the tickets at StubHub, you get your eight. And then when it comes time to uh, the show comes, you put it on StubHub, and then boom, you sell them for whatever. You need these fights, all these things. I've done it. Everyone's done it who's lived here. It's an easy way to make a couple thousand bucks because people come and want to buy it. You buy them at face value now, and that's what they're planning to do with the Raiders because they're hoping for this big boom coming in, in, in you know, next year or this year, <laughs> which... Even if they are on time, these scalpers are going to be left hold. I mean, it's going to be a sold-out stadium with half the people in the stadium. You realize that, right? Because, I mean, it, we're going to be coming off a dead season. I mean, I, I just can't see how we're going to have that sort of energy of just, fi- uh, I mean, just fill in those stands and people flying to Vegas to see the Oakland Raiders play the, play the Cardinals. You know what I mean? Or it's just, it's just, I just don't see it. <laughs> Cardinals... <laughs> I, I just don't see it. Do you guys? Anyways, uh, what was I going to say? Um, moving on. Um, so, yeah. So, so what that brings up is all these shows. Where is the money coming from? Where was the consumer protection? I had uh, notified the attorney general here in Las Vegas, Aaron Ford, his office. I notified the governor, and I notified uh, state's attorney, a uh, number of other people, all the publishers, all the other newspapers, everyone, that that I'm concerned that you're financing the project with sales from the consumers, but in the event of a delay, like let's say there was a mistake, or let's say like this virus strike or something like that, or let's say the workers went on strike, and, and the stadium couldn't be done by 2021, what happens to the, the consumers who purchase those tickets? What happens to those guys? Do they, do they get a refund 
do they get do, do the money transfer to no the way the contract's set up from what I understand is no refunds how can they the money has gone to the contractors to build the stadium where is it so if they wanted a refund there is no money to give a refund this is something that that uh, Aaron Ford did not see he overlooked this this was a mistake he had made and because he doesn't want to admit the mistake, he continued to press it, even when the stadium got shut down, when the roof collapsed in November. And that roof building got hold delay. I'm, I'm concerned about the structural safety. That's another issue. But the roof came down. They shut the project down. And they didn't even tell anybody <laughs> until it leaked. Okay? That's how, that's the kind of people we're dealing with here at Al Giant. Right? Is it the kind of people that would literally have a project from what I heard from the workers when, in November when that roof collapsed is that bolts were flying off. I mean, the thing was collapsing. The, the bolts were shooting off, off the thing because they were pulling so fast. It was like in the Titanic. You know, when you see those, those steel just pop, 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 pop. That's what they said it was like. When they, well, can you imagine the roof trucks coming down? You know, 600,000 tons each of those things, whatever they weigh. 600 million tons? <laughs> 600 tons? I don't fucking know. But it's a lot. Those, each one of those represses, and all of them kind of sag down when they tried to crunch it up. It was just like shooting all these bolts out. So, and they didn't tell anybody. I mean, someone could have got hurt. They didn't tell anybody. Now people are testing positive on the site, and they're still not telling anybody. Why? Because they have no money to give refunds. They have no choice. It's like if, if, in other words, if they delayed it, people will say, great, well, we want our money back. Well, they're fucked. I mean, the, the cat's out of the bag at that point. People are going to jail because there's been, there's no money to give back to the consumers. We're talking $300 million. So we're not talking about chicken scratch here. Okay, so they have their backs against the wall. So they have to lie. They have to tell you that everything's copacetic and we're done and They have to until they get caught, even in the case when the roof collapsed. <laughs> Uh, and they still maintain the lie. I mean, I had to go down and talk to Don Webb personally because there wasn't any journalists in town that were even ballsy enough to go challenge the guy. All they do in town here, just so you know, is they just write whatever this person is selling you. Because, because they, I don't know why. I think it's because they all go to UNLV. And at UNLV, I don't know, I think they, I don't think they teach much there. I don't, I wouldn't call UNLV a, a highly ethical school. From what I, for the, sorry, sorry guys, if you guys are there or you went there, but from what I can gather, the graduates that have come out of there are less than ethical. I mean, they have very little education. They have very little understanding of arts or, or the world or anything. It seems like they just learned how to make money, and that was it. And the way they make money here is that they, they all work together to lie to Wall Street and to lie to the public. Now, no one wants to hear that, but you know what? Guess what? The brakes have been pulled off and the cover's being pulled out and now you can see what's happening because people are going to want their money back. Like right now, I want my $300 back from Orleans for a show that was canceled for April 25th. Orleans on Twitter said, oh yeah, no problem because they, they want to publicly to let everybody know we're giving refunds. So they told me, oh no problem. Oh, oh, sorry they told you that. Just call us back. It's been rescheduled. If you can't make it, no problem. We'll give you a refund. We called the, the, the ticket person. They said that's a flat out lie. No refunds unless it's canceled. So that means they could keep rescheduling it every six months and I never get my $300 back. Can you... Does that, seem, does that seem like a good business practice? Because I'll tell you what, I will never buy another ticket from the Orleans ever again. Because in the case the guy cancels or once the guy gets sick, Orleans won't give the money back because they don't have it. They just don't have it. I don't know. They, they, someone else, who knows? I don't know their inner workings, but I'm telling you what, people are going to find out because now is the time that we have open our investigations. We need to start getting in to find out who owns these, these, these construction bonds and who's inside there. So we need to start subpoena. <laughs> okay, so we need to find out who owns these... It, not my job, but someone needs to go in there and figure out who owns these things. So start the investigation, start figuring out who, I don't know. You know, I mean, there, there's just a lot of shit going on. But the number one thing is, why can't I get my $300 back? Why is it so hard for me to get that back? 
I mean, the show's canceled. It, or it's, it was canceled and then postponed till uh, September. I can't, I'm not going to be here in September. I don't know where I'll be. Okay, so I, because of the coronavirus, I no longer want to go. And since they breached the contract, aren't I entitled to my refund? So that's now the next question is: What happens if they delay the All Giant Stadium? What's going to happen to you, season ticket holders who bought the, the the tickets? What happens to your money? Well, the, from what I found out when I researched it, they said no, same deal, no refunds. It's the same deal in Vegas because most of the people that bought them are are speculative scalpers anyways. They were hoping to sell. They're probably going to lose their ass no matter what. If I was a scalper that bought a season ticket holder right now, I'd be very, I'd be listening very carefully to Jedi Rich on how to get yourself out of the situation. Yeah, I used to be a day trader in Manhattan. In Manhattan on September 11th, 2001. I mean, I was also a day trader in 1999 when the internet boom and crashed. And then the 9-11 crashed. And then, you know, okay. So I, I know how to trade out of these things. And what's happened is is that we've tr- you've traded yourself into a bad deal. So anyways, I'm, I'm not going to ramble on that. But please subscribe. Please keep watching. Um, we'll try to keep your abreast of the financial stuff as well as all the, you know, the biology stuff that's going on here that's affecting your Vegas, your money. And anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Like I'm still a day old, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a roly or sinker. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get out, get down. Get down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out.